Hey, you knocked over my hat, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to wear that. <laughs> I'm not going to wear it. Here, you now. So I've been playing Fallout 4 for a long time. And you've probably caught on if you watch this channel at all. I have kind of a um, fetish for it. So the thing with uh, Fallout 4 is that I don't really understand why I like it. I, it, yeah. I've played like five or six hundred hours of it, which is just horrifying. It's a lot of time. And I, I, but I don't really know why I like it so much. I, there, I have some theories. The first being that it came out about a month after my son was born, or a month before. Month after. I think it was released in November of 2015. I was a stay-at-home dad, right? So, like, what do I do with my time? A little tiny baby doesn't do much. It just kind of lays there. I'm sorry, <coughs> it, but it's true. You didn't do very much. You do a lot more now, and you keep me on my toes. Yes! And it sort of diluted the anxiety of f***ing <laughs> this kid up. Uh, which, you know, is like I have a connection between my son and this game because they both came out at the same time. I was very excited about both of them. In obviously different ways. It could also be that I like building games. Creation games are just a big turn on for me. I love, you know, Little Big Planet, uh, Super Mario Maker, Minecraft. I mean, Fallout 4 in a lot of ways is just Minecraft set in a different time period. I love Minecraft and because it's just a giant toy box maybe it's that but also maybe it's just that i'm a sucker for fallout games and this is the latest one and there happens to be a lot of stuff to do in there i don't know but let's be perfectly honest fallout 4 is not a great game it's just not it's the narrative is wonky and the entire engine is buggy and the building system is weird. I loved Fallout 1 and 2. Um, those will always hold a special place in my heart and when Fallout was taken over by Bethesda I was a little bummed out because I knew that Fallout would no longer be Fallout the way I remembered it. But Fallout 3 I got into it immediately and then Fallout New Vegas I never played. It's, that's not true. I have played Fallout New Vegas but I sped through it because I didn't have time. For whatever reason, I felt as though I needed to speed through it. And Fallout 4 is just like this extension of Fallout 3. It's just a game that I keep coming back to. And my friends make fun of me for it. But, because, <laughs> again, it's, it's not a great game. It's not, it's not the worst game. It's not like I feel bad for playing it. I would never feel bad about playing a bad game, but... It's not as though I feel like Fallout 4 is a waste of time. It's just that it's it's not a great it's not a great game. It's just not. It's not. Yes. Yeah. So what is this project? I've had this idea for a long time to like resettle the entire Commonwealth, um, just because I, that's my favorite part of Fallout 4 is building settlements like the whole game loop of building and then going out and scavenging for a while whether it's on a mission or you just wander off and just do it is enjoyable to me like it's just a lot of fun it's a lot of it's a lot of fun so i've had this idea to just resettle everything and in large part it, this is uh inspired by the youtuber no respawn because uh, that's kind of what he's doing i don't think i don't know if he intended on doing that originally. So now that I have this idea, I want to record it. Like, I want to bring you through the process and not just show you, well, this is how I built a building and this is how I built this building, but also sort of like get you inside of my head and let you know this is what I was thinking here, this was my inspiration and that sort of thing. Sort of like a, a crossover between uh, creativity, but also about Fallout 4, using a video game as a creative space to build in. Are you pooping? No. It's...
I want to record it and release it and sort of make it in part it's about Fallout 4 and what you can do in Fallout 4 but in a much larger part it's about my design process and my thought process about building these stages these areas up and having a having it be a challenge and just sharing that with folks I guess why do this uh, I, it's a great question why would I do this Fallout 4 has been out for two years now two and a half years almost three years I guess first and foremost because I'm still playing the fucking game like it's just it's still a part of my soul for better or for worse also because I think that by examining I think by examining level design through Fallout 4 I can under I can get a better understanding of what good level design looks like and where it might falter that's sort of a bullshit answer. Really, the reason I want to do it is because I've spent this much time playing Fallout 4, and I feel like I should have something to show for it. Is that a horrible reason? That's probably a horrible reason. Um, I don't care. That's the reason I want to do it. The other part of it is that I want to show off these mods and what can be done with these mods that I enjoy so much. I have a ridiculous number of them, and I suppose I should probably talk about them at some point and just explain why I use them and how I use them. Or maybe I won't, I don't know. At the end of this whole thing, I'm gonna do like a walkthrough tour of all of the things. I think what I'm gonna do is one of these videos is going to be a settlement or maybe two or three videos in a row. I'm not gonna do building by building because uh, that's too much. I don't know why I felt the need to explain that. You'll find all of that out in the, later when you're you pooped. Walking. All right, bye.